Well, Andy, first of all, an incredible moment. I know you don't even know where to go. Your mum would be proud of you, though. You cleaned up after yourself, so well done. Absolutely amazing to think that you come back after the surgery, after you were down and out in Australia. We, we, we buried you. Now you come back and win a five set like this. Physically, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm tired. I mean, my, uh, my toes are the worst part. I think uh, the big toes on both sides are pretty, uh, pretty beat up. But I did all right physically. I, I, I mean, I think at the beginning of the match, I was sort of apprehensive about playing a long match because I hadn't played one for a while and I felt like I was kind of pacing myself. You do that a lot when you're sort of a junior, really, and coming into the seniors. And I felt a little bit like that at the beginning. And then, uh, yeah, once I got two sets down, I had to start <laughs> putting the afterburners on and managed to, to get through. What did you do when you did go down two sets of love? What did you tell yourself mentally about what you needed to do to change your game? Um, I, had to, I had to start striking the ball a little bit better. I was hitting the ball a bit late, a little bit tentative, and then I went the other way of just trying to take too many chances and making errors, and like I didn't have that balance right. And I think at the end, I started to, to get the balance right a bit more. I was hitting my forehand better as the match went on, dictating more points with that. And uh, I think I served fairly well at the end, maybe not so well at the beginning, but yeah, had to, had to change a few things for sure. Were you looking down the other end as well and seeing his frustration because he was struggling with breaking you? You obviously double folded to lose your serve, but what did you tell yourself to break immediately back? Um, I don't know, I mean, I'd walk, I, I've seen some of his matches. I mean, he's a very, very good player, extremely tricky. Um, that doesn't have the biggest serve. He's not the biggest guy. Um, I was struggling to, to break him, but you know, I've seen in some of his matches that um, you know when he had gone up, that guys had got back at him and, and broken back. So you know, I tried to, to make as many balls as I could in that game. He gave me a few errors and um, played some good points and managed to, to turn it around. Okay, we talked the other day about you not having an ice bath here. What are you going to do now to recover? Yeah, I mean, I, they have one in the locker room and they said it's for emergencies. And <laughs> this is, for me, this is it's an emergency right now. I mean, my body hurts and, um, you know, I need to recover as best as possible. So I'll ask and see if they'll allow me to use the ice bath here. If not, I'll try and get back to the hotel as quickly as possible and, and get in one at, at the hotel. But, yeah, I need to need to rest up and try and recover as best I can because that's by far the most tennis I've played in uh, since 2019 really when I played Bautista at the Aussie Open so um, yeah I need to recover well. Andy shuffle off the court Thank get into you. the ice bath mate well done.